Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team and today we are going to continue to explore the Unity 5 Terrain tools. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now, if you remember, on the last video we added terrain to our scene and started looking at the settings of the terrain. We saw that the properties are divided into sections and we covered the first one, the base terrain section. Now today we are going to cover the remaining sections. The next section is tree and detail objects. The first option of this section is draw. Here you can set the draw of details on or off. Basically this tells the engine if you want trees and grass to be drawn or not. Moving on, you have backlight probes for trees. If you enable this option, Unity will create light probes at the position for each tree. These probes will then be applied to the rendering of trees. If you disable this option, trees will still be affected by light group probes. Take note that this option only is available for trees that have light probes enabled on their prefabs. Next, on this slider, you can set the value for detail distance. This is the distance from the camera beyond which details will be colored. Next, on detail density, you set the number of, of detail objects in a given unity of area. The tree distance is the distance from the camera beyond which trees will be colored. Next, the billboard start is the distance from, from the camera at which 3D trees objects will be replaced by billboard images. The fade lane is the distance over which trees will transition between 3D objects and billboards. Finally, the max max trees is the maximum number of visible trees that will be represented as solid 3D meshes. Now, moving on to the next section, we have the wind settings. On speed, you define the speed of the wind as it blows the grass. Next, on size, you define the size of the ripples on the grassy areas as the wind blows over them. On bending, you set the degree to which grass objects are bent by the wind. As you can see, you can change all these parameters using the sliders or simply writing the number. Next, on grass tint, you select the overall color tint applied to the grass objects. You can change this color by clicking on the color and this window will pop up. From here you can select different colors for the grass. Ok, moving on, we have the next section, which is resolution. Here you can define the terrain width, length and height. Next, you have the high map resolution. This is the pixel resolution of the terrain high map. It should be a power of 2 plus 1. For example, here we have 513, where 512 is a power of 2 and you have 1. So this will give you 514. Next, on detail resolution, you set the resolution of the map. 
Higher resolutions will give you smaller and more detailed grass patches. Next, on detail resolution per patch, you set the length and width of the square of patches rendering on a single draw call. Moving on, on control texture resolution, you set this you set the resolution value of the splat map that controls the blending of different terrain textures. And finally, on base texture resolution, you set the resolution of the composite texture used on the, wind, on the terrain when viewed from a distance superior to the base map distance. Now, Unity 5 add a new section to these to the terrain properties which is a high map high map section as you can see you have two bottoms here you can import the high map from a raw file or you can export your current terrain into a high map raw file here you can set the depth of the terrain to bit 8 or bit 16 and the byte order for Mac or Windows and then just click export ok guys this concludes our video our second video on the terrain editor on the next video we will start to explore the sculpting tools until then have a nice day